Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Today we're gonna take a look at the first um, version of Spare Chalk that gonna work on Blender 2.8. Uh, currently, we are we have actually Blender 2.8 beta. There's still like a, it's still being developed, of course. If you are curious and you wanna try uh, some Node workflow uh, like Spare Chalk in Blender 2.8, this is a good it's a good time to actually start learning. So. Spare chalk, okay. If you want to, uh, you you want to install Spare chalk 2.8 alpha uh, or still also being developed, you go to Spare chalk and then instead of downloading the master, instead of cloning the master, you go to the 2.8 branch. So there is this Blender 2.8 Blender 2.8 testing, and you can download it. You can download the zip and then you simply go to file, um, edit preferences and then install the add-on and then you go to your uh, download folder let me try to find mine download folder and then you find your zip spare truck b28 pre-release uh, pre and then you can uh, install it from there and then as soon as you do that of course you go to if you go um, go to the node editor you will find Sphere Chalk. I think it's a. Uh, it's all brand new to me. So. Texture Node Editor. I think it's probably Shader Editor and. No, it's not Shader. Let me try. Maybe I don't have it installed. Okay, Sphere Chalk, and this is the older Sphere Chalk. This is the newer. It's actually only. It's uh, the version is actually should be like one point something at this point. Anyhow, we should find spare chalk hopefully. Ah, spare chalk nodes. So now we have like a special uh, kind of special tab or what do you call it? Special panel for spare chalk. So file save as spare chalk. Uh, intro so at some point um, I'm, got, I'm gonna try to make some kind of map because we covered a lot of things from the basics and then from some of the intermediate example of spare chalk and animation nodes and I think it's a good idea to have some kind of map so you don't get lost and you you, you can keep kind of growing your knowledge so anyway you start by creating a new node tree as usual and of course, uh, I think we should still have all the panel for spread chop somewhere here. Ah, probably we don't have it at the moment. But the nodes simply basically still working the same. So if I if I I'm gonna delete everything here in the scene, I'm still actually not get used to of the collection and things like that. But I think it's, it's gonna be really helpful to understand that as well. But okay, spare chalk comes with uh, of course a lot of nodes, and I think these are some of the nodes that's already working with Blender 2.8. Uh, we can try with the the most basic, of course, box. You can use box, or you can also have Suzanne. And I think we don't have viewer draw yet. So, but we we can already create a B mesh. Right, viewer draw is like a preview of the objects, and stethoscope is uh, if you wanna view the data, what we are generating at this point. So I think a good idea is to start with a random. So you can have like a 100 random vector, for example. Random vector, uh, vector is just means three values, three positions. And in this case, it's a vector for position, so we can just plug this into B mesh. There is a some kind of bug sometimes when I try to plug this, but anyway, it seems to work. Yeah, so random vector is of course already working. The scale and the count is all working, so that's well. That's a that's a random vector. Right, if you uh, you can have, I think, uh, multiple B mesh viewer, of course. 
this one we call it beta so this is our box I plug this in so we should have our box and if you want to transform it you use the matrix this is matrix it's called matrix but it's just like transform so if I'm not wrong this this is just a bug seems like it's not updating but it's, it should actually be updating maybe if I if I cut this um, what's the shortcut so this is also a bug if I try to sometimes if I do this it doesn't give me what I want let me try maybe I have I can force this uh, anyway this uh, of course it's still being developed right still there's a bugs so this doesn't always work it doesn't update but that's one thing you can also create Suzanne viewer be mesh so if you first using spare chop uh, just simply play around with the generator we get a lot of cool stuff here my favorite being the the rounded box it's not even here I mean you can search it so it's there rounded box and here BMS viewer let's practice this so we should have uh, we don't have it because we we need to name it okay rounded box and I'll try to just put it to the side and we have Suzanne and of course Suzanne we need to put it somewhere so I'm just gonna give this a value save it and then reopen Suzanne we don't have Suzanne okay we need to name it this, this properly okay Suzanne box random points and this is a this is actually a rounded box there you go um, yeah this those are four objects right nothing too fancy and uh, everything works still the same you select the nodes and then tap L and things like that oh currently if you notice Oh, you, you probably don't know but selecting an object in Blender 2.8 they, they try to uh, to make it so we get used to the new interface so instead of using the input right mouse button get used to the left I can try do, doing that uh, so this is now becoming left mouse button and then right click is something else you know like smooth shading is um, this one also suddenly when you switch left to the right it's a uh, it becomes interesting right it's become it's not that hard actually see now I'm selecting using left mouse button so it's pretty easy and let's try to make like a lot of um, a lot of sphere for example let's try sphere so we want to have sphere and B mesh viewer and we this time I want to make a lot of uh, sphere so matrix the outputs gonna be spheres and I wanna have a smaller sphere and random random vector it's gonna be my uh, source for the matrix of the sphere there you go and the cool thing of course uh, currently I think this is like it's gonna make one object per sphere blender usually cannot handle handle too many objects but uh, i think it's it's working really really fast with the blender 2.8 a lot faster than before okay seems like i managed to crash blender oh because it's still it's still running uh, some kind of process so really quick file open And edit preference for joke. I wonder why it's still dark. Save preferences. 
so we have anyway we have 380 if I change this to 100 oh yeah seems like this is causing it to slow down um, should have shouldn't have done that File, save as. Okay. Um, anyway, the cool thing about Blender 2.8, of course, the EV and this all kind of real time stuff that you can you can do really really easily. So maybe in the near future, not too not too far, we're gonna have. Uh, um, Everything is gonna work. Uh, for us, like all the nodes gonna be working again for sphere chalk, and then maybe we're gonna have also the new blender particles and kind of like built in animation nodes with uh, everything nodes. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, it's actually like really, really exciting. I just uh, cannot describe it. It's a, it's a work in progress, of course, 2.8, maybe for next year next year like official release currently again is still better than the 2.8 beta and then sphere chop is still currently being um, upgraded for to work with uh, 2.8 but you can already save preset i think so let me try so this is like a bunch of stuff um, i can delete this save um save preset let, let me try that and then name it like a uh, bunch of objects okay so it's exported to so there's this uh, the info thing is, uh, is now somewhere and it's I'll try to find it so in the older order uh, order blender there's this something called info and this should normally this is always like hidden up up here, but yeah, in then now we, we actually need to go there to find it. So this is my preset, a bunch of objects. I can try to go there. Go, go to folder, paste. This is how you can save uh, presets for a uh, node three for spread chalk. It's actually really cool. They actually designed this, the Spreadshop developer designed this method so you can save nodes and easily uh, load it whenever you need it. Um, and you can, if you open it with something like Sublime Text or Text Editor, you can see um, the objects. Oh, I need to select the objects, I believe. So select all of them, save preset. Okay, now it's being updated cool so if I make a new empty scene I need to make like a new new one for spread job I think go to the oh, where is spread chalk spread job nodes new So there's the presets, but I think we can change something here. Remember before how it it's, it keeps on crashing because we have too many objects. So I want to change that. So that I'm gonna make like 50 objects instead of 384. I I'm saving it and then select everything, get the preset. Now our object is like only 50. So that's really cool, right? This is really cool. This is like, this is a preset in the form of, what is this, JSON? I think it's in the form of JSON. And then you can kind of edit the nodes over here. And then when you load it again, now we have 50 sphere with monkey and box and rounded box. So yeah, that's pretty much like a, the rundown of what's going on. I think I should like uh, slow down a little bit. Maybe try to map what what we have uh, with spread chalk and animation nodes, 
and look at the new blender and then try to get used to the collections um, yeah a lot of things uh, to learn it's a uh, pretty exciting and this of course I like it. random <laughs> and yeah just play around with it and see uh, how, how far you, you can go by just trying all these nodes um, you can get used to it eventually like uh, this is Suzanne and sphere if you want it smooth shaded uh, you can control it from there so Suzanne and all this everything procedural this is um, yeah this is spare chalk in intro um, let me save it really quick this is just a quick quick look at uh, early uh, version of spare chalk in blender 2.8 so there's a lot of things a lot of exciting things Everything that I've done uh, in the past with all my thousands of videos should still work. All the concepts and knowledge should uh, transfer to Blender 2.8 and hopefully next year also and then when Blender 2.8 become official, we're gonna be, uh, we can get into serious stuff. Um, yeah, uh, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.